Let's talk about Heikin Ashi. The considered simple and plain chart compared to the ancient one. Actually, Heikin Ashi was far, far earlier than those we usually see. If you are interested in knowing about its histories, Google Wikipedia. Anyway, I'll try to explain in a very simple manner and language to get you to easily understand how this chart mode works. And I'm creating an extension of this video. There will be a few series like this. The next one will be trading strategy from an ebook named Scalping is Fun, whose pen name is Heikin Ashi Trader, who's trading with Heikin Ashi, which is like a classical name. Like you're playing a computer game and the computer name is Computer. Ah, that's a funny one. This video is about teaching concepts. I'm not giving any financial advice nor I'm a licensed financial advisor. Just take this as an education. Trading is not really complicated, but most trading instruction complicates it by stuffing a bunch of finance and technical terms. So come back. If you have been trading for a while, most trading platforms offer three most widely used price settings, which are the bar chart, candlestick chart, the most popular one, the line chart? No. Then there are these last years charting like Renka and Heikin Ashi, which is the one we are talking about right now. Every chart has its advantage and disadvantage. Take line chart for example, your first impression is if I buy low at this point and sell at this point, I'm a successful trader. But in reality, no. Line chart is simple. All simplify as this chart mode only shows the opening and closing price, which if you are a scalper or day trader, you would have issue identify for placing your stop and take profit. Candlestick chart or the Japanese candlestick chart, whew, Japanese are smarter than everything. Shows you the event of open, high, low and close, or known as OHLC, which over half of the trading strategy that could be found online are built on top of it. Yeah, you know why are they popular? Japanese. Bar chart is the same as candlestick chart but without a body. Yeah. And Heikin Ashi. Given the chart show in front of you, which do you prefer? Left or right? To install it, Heikin Ashi was pre-installed in MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5 trading platform which could be found on the indicator box. Simply drag it over to the chart and you got it for desktop users. And nope, Heikin Ashi is not available on MetaTrader apps. It's not possible to install it either too. There aren't any hopes other than using browser charts. So I prefer blue candle to be blue and bear candle to be red. Let's change the setting. Then customize your chart properties. Isn't this handsome? Heikin Hashi, comparing to candlesticks, provides a clearer version in terms of filtering out noises, volatility to better identify trends and is mostly trend, potential reversal points, and can be blended along with classical technical analysis like you know, drawings like support and resistance level, head and shoulders, triangles, squares and ridges, uh, you know. What you have learned about the technical analysis that works on the normal candlestick charts works the same on Heikin Hashi chart. It's the same. Equals. Let's take a look at the Heikin Hashi candlestick body. I painted bullish candle as blue and bearish candle as red. You can customize whatever color you prefer, but I'm going to stick with blue, blue, and red bear. Heikin Hashi candlestick's body is the same comparing to the normal candlestick. It has an open, high, low, and close. A body lower and or upper weight. Some call it shadow if you prefer. Then let's dig into the formula first before getting further. It's not really important, but at least knowing its properties and understanding how it really works may spark you an idea how to trade better with it. Who knows? Since Heikin Hashi 
price is formulated as average in which that the given price by Heikin Hashi candle is different from the real market price. So when you happen to place a buy order here, your price may not reflect it here but somewhere here. Anyway, the formula goes like this. HA for Heikin Hashi in short. Heikin Hashi open. This is a formula. HA dash open equals to the combination of the previous open and close of the Heikin Hashi candlesticks then divided by 2. Let's try this. Yeah? Yep. HA close is adding up the current candle of open, high, low, and close, then divided four of them. Yep. Yep. HA high is whichever the highest on Heikin Hachi candlestick among the high, open, or close. HA low, the opposite of HA high, which is whichever the lowest on Heikin Hachi candlestick among the low, open, or close. A long body of bullish Heikin Hachi candlestick tells you a strong buying pressure over the two day period, which is the last and the current candle. And if there is a disappearance of the lower shadows, means the momentum of the rises remain strong. In the contrast, a long body of bearish Heikin Hachi candlestick tells you a strong selling pressure over the two day period, which is the last and current candle. And if there is a disappearance of the high shadow, means the momentum of the fall remains strong. Then the appearance of the lower shadow on the bullish Heikin Hashi candle shows a weakening sign of its momentum. Same goes to high shadow on the bearish Heikin Hashi candles shows a weakening sign of its momentum too. When you see something like this, we call it sideways or ranging or range bound market condition, whatever name you like calling it. It's a loss of trend momentum and it's more like telling you. Hello, I don't know where am I heading to, so do you want me to continue leading you? Then this is Doji, and this is a spinning top. Doji has no body. Yeah, no body with long shadow on both sides. Spinning top has thin body with long shadows on both sides. There are times when it happened that you saw a Doji or spinning top, you should not be immediately considered that as a trend reversal. If anyone tells you that, ha ha, ha ha, ha 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 ha. <laughs> Doji or a spinning top is more like a man lost in the woods who is undecided about going left or right. It's a loss of trend momentum, that's it. It's not buying or selling signal. You see, here's a doji, here's a doji, here's a doji. Here is a spinning top, here is a spinning top, and here is a spinning top. Doji and spinning top are not necessarily a trend reversal but a potential one. I'll talk about it in a second. When you blend Heikin Hashi chart with other technical analysis, say the classical support and resistance, you might get excellent results. Let me show you my drawings. Say for example, the support and resistance level is here. As this area has been tested a couple of times and we see a spinning top, we make an entry here after this candle has closed, and a high opening on the new candle compared to the resistance level area. Please note that the market price is different from Heikin Hashi opening price, so you might buy above the listed price. Yeah. And close trade when the color changes. Same thing repeats, draw the support and resistance line of boxes. Made an entry here, unfortunately his face changes so quickly that you don't recognize him on the next day. Close trade even with loses. Again a spinning top here and the last support area is here, 
and a breakout of the support level. We shot it here. Close when color changes or when the candle body remains small and is not expanding because of the loss of trend momentum. Little to no profit was booked here. Waiting for a breakout after seeing doji and or spinning top. Made an entry here. Close on color changes. No profit was booked. Spinning top here. And last support remain. Made a shot. And close when color changes. Draw your support and resistance level and repeat. Made a long here on the breakout. Close on color changes. Repeat. This is the breakout strategy. You can literally test it on your chart yourself to better experience it. I find it quite useful. Since Heikin Hashi works like the normal candlestick, candlestick patterns and a specific candlestick that works on the normal candlestick works on Heikin Hashi as well. You can literally mix with any indicators or trading strategies like the breakout as demonstrated earlier, the bounce, the pullback, the reversals, anything else. Heikin Hashi Trading works also in any time frame, no matter if it's 30 second chart or monthly chart. Also, blending with volume indicators and momentum oscillator may give unexpected results. We will talk this in another video. Take my word as a grain of salt. It's better for you exploring yourself rather than listening to me. And finally, there will be an extension of this. The next video will be scalping with Heikin Ashi. Stay tuned and good luck trading.